This is how to compare different investments with different compounding periods per year. At first glance, you might think, oh, 5.5% monthly is a much better deal than 6% annually if we're only investing for one year, just hypothetically. But let's see if that's really true. So let me just write one year so we know. And you might be able to guess this is going to turn out to be 6%, but let's just do the math anyway. This is the formula we're going to be using. So we're going to go first. Um, and this formula is going to put these two on even playing fields. And the, the correct like term for it is effective interest rate, but you can just refer to it as IE, I guess. So here we go. Let's do 6% first. So we're going to go IE equals... 1 plus, this is going to be 0.06 divided by how m is how many compounding periods we have in a year. So this one is just 1 divided by 1, and then to the 1, <laughs> to the first. There we go. And that's going to turn out to be 6%, as you could probably guess. But let's do this one now. Is it... Is it any better? Let's see. So, 1 plus, then you're going to go 0.055 to um, the 12th, or divide by 12. And then close that, do it by 12. And for the sake of time, I won't do all the math here, but this you should be getting um, 5.6408. So, which deal are you taking? I would take this one. There you go.